Sheridan's on her way to Sheffield, where the Doubleday branch of her family was from. She's meeting genealogist Eileen Butcher, hoping to discover more about the banjo player in her father's photo. There's this picture, Ooh. which is amazing. It's the best thing I've ever seen. So these are the double days. OK. So the furthest you've got back is William, William Doubleday. Which was my, yeah, my dad's grandfather, my great-grandfather. Yeah. OK. I've done some research and okay. we've got his father's birth right. certificate. So we're going back another generation. Yeah. So this is your great-great-grandfather, Benjamin Doubleday. Wow. Benjamin, boy. The year is 17th of February, 1856. So this tells you where he was born. It tells you in the first column. Union Workhouse, New Sleaford. Probably what's happened in this case is that the family are in the workhouse because of monetary worries and so on, so they've ended up in the workhouse. Really? Yeah, so it's very humble beginnings. Oh, so he was born in the workhouse? Yeah. It's amazing. And so this is a marriage certificate Eileen reveals to Sheridan that her great-great-grandfather, Benjamin Doubleday, went on to marry Sarah Jane Collins. It gives you the date of marriage. 27th of March, 1883. Sheridan discovers that Benjamin and Sarah Jane had four children. Her great-grandfather, William, had three sisters, May Fanny, Harriet and Caroline, and her birth certificate holds a clue about Benjamin. 5th of April, 1890, Caroline Maud, a girl by Benjamin Doubleday and Sarah Jane Doubleday. Occupation of father, teacher of music. We've got one other little... Oh, gosh, it's getting so exciting. Now, this is from a newspaper. Yeah. The Sheffield and Rotherham Independent, November 25th, 1886. Concert at the Parish Rooms, Sharrow. A most successful entertainment took place on Tuesday evening and aided the funds of the Working Men's Club in connection with St Andrew's Church. One notable feature was the banjo playing of Mr B Doubleday, whose remarkable power over that instrument proved it capable of much greater resources than are generally attributed to it. His rendering of Home Sweet Home... Oh, I'm going to get emotional. <gasps> can't believe this. His rendering of Home Sweet Home with variations was received with enthusiastic applause. Oh, God, I can't say that. <laughs> oh, it's like it's a little review, isn't it? It is. I can't read it now, can I? Because I can't see. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, gosh, it's amazing. His rendering of Home Sweet Home with variations was received with enthusiastic applause and merited the determined encore which followed. Yeah, he so he was a banjo player? Yes. An amazing one by the sounds of it. But that explains the banjos. It does. And my dad plays the banjo brilliantly. Well, I don't know about as well as Mr <laughs> Benjamin Doubleday. Wow. It's so brilliant. I'm a, I can't wait for my dad to find this all out. Honestly, I'm so... I'm, this is going to be such a journey. I want to figure out now where his banjo playing came from, where Benjamin Doubleday, how he became a teacher of music. So was he self-taught, like my dad's done? Uh, I don't know. I, I just want to know more about the Doubledays now. The fact that, like, a century ago, that he got a review saying he was astonishing is just so exciting. I'm so chuffed. This is amazing. <laughs>